Hey, this is Brother Jeff with eLearning Brothers, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download an HTML5 interaction from the Interaction Builder, um, and then how to bring that into Articulate Storyline and use that within a course. So, the first thing you want to do is go into the Interaction Builder and create your interaction. I already have one created. This is just an HTML5 uh, game show interaction that, I, that was built. And now it's ready just to be downloaded from the library. So I'm going to go ahead and hover over the icon here and then click on the download button. Now it gives me the option to download it as ActionScript 2, ActionScript 3, or HTML5. Well, in this case, I'm just going to focus on HTML5. So I'm going to select HTML5 and it's going to download the course, the folder, to my desktop. Once this has been downloaded, you'll notice three different files inside of this uh, download. One is the index.html file, the other one is game show, and the last one is the core folder. And these are necessary, that it is necessary to have an index.html in order to bring that inside of Articulate Storyline. So with that downloaded, the next thing I need to do is just start or open up your current project or start a new project inside of Storyline. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into a page and then I'm going to go into the insert menu and within the insert menu I have something called web object. I'm going to select the web object and come over to insert uh, the address and you can either enter in an address for something on a website somewhere or you can browse for uh, local content which is since we downloaded it to our desktop that is considered local content so I'm going to hit browse go to my desktop and then select the folder. You don't need to select a certain file, but select the folder with the content inside of it. Now, if you want to make sure you got the right folder, just hit test link. It will pull up a browser, and if you see this loading right here, that means you have the right folder. These games won't function until you actually put them on the web somewhere, on a learning management system, or um, on a website somewhere. And, but it'll at least let you uh, test it to make sure it's pulling up there. Now you can decide if you wanted to display it within the slide or if you wanted to open up a new browser and you can control how the browser gets opened up if you wanted to display it differently. But since this is HTML5 uh, in the course, if we're targeting iPads or uh, Android devices or anything, then we can just display it within the course. So I'm gonna click OK. This warning may pop up. Um, just go ahead and click OK and now from here, you can resize your interaction uh, or reposition your interaction right within Articulate Storyline uh, by changing the, hit, the height and the width as well as the alignments. And then you can click on Preview. Now the preview, during the actual um, preview within Articulate Storyline, you, you basically just get a message saying web object is unavailable during preview. Once you publish this out and you have posted this to your website or learning management system, the web object will work just fine. So keep that in mind. If you wanted to do that, go ahead and publish it and put it on a website and test it out there. But if it's working fine within the interaction builder, it'll work fine within the actual output of Articulate Storyline. So that's how you grab um, one of the interactions from the interaction builder, download it, and insert it inside of Articulate Storyline. 